and welcome back to some more in Shrouded. Right, well, as you can see, I am not on my hardcore character yet. I've been very busy the last couple of days. Actually, for the past week, me and wife has been, uh, you know, redecorating the house, moving furniture around, just to attempt to create some space that we will need in the, in the future. We are almost done, but uh, yeah, I'm... Oh, I'm a tired man. Now, I have not inhaled any fumes today, so I will most likely be a little bit more consistent than I was in the last video. Oh, let's see. Eggs? No, no eggs. Uh, still a lot of those people around. Right. Well, I think that this video is gonna also be a little bit of an exploration video, but I think that I also kind of want to speculate a little bit about what the next update could entail and what we could expect, maybe what we want, because we have already gotten like a new area to the map, which was the Blackmire, and this was a rather large area. Now, I don't really want them to add too much low level stuff, even though like the bottom of the Kindle Waste does, I mean, it needs something a little bit more, I think. And there are some areas that we can't access, like this little area. Maybe there's a plan to do something there. But I do wonder what could happen. Because I'm not sure. I mean, chances are that the next update is the mountain update. Which includes an entirely different area with the snowy biomes and I assume more mobs. Hopefully. Not really sure what we could expect from the mountains. Hopefully not more Vuka. I mean, I don't have anything against the Vuka, but... We already got a Blackmire and uh, the Blackmire was invested. Well, there has also been some speculation, a uh, comment from Kensu said that it was heard through the grapevine. Can't confirm nor deny that, yeah, they were thinking of increasing the level cap to maybe like 30-35. That, uh, that could be interesting because we have not gotten a level increase yet and I do want to level up more, most definitely. Ooh, eggs. I like eggs. Right. Yeah, I think it would be really good to have uh, some more levels. And if we got 10 more levels, that would be something. Hopefully that means 10 more skill points. Now there is also a chance that the next update is just gonna be, you know, a little bit of fixes of the bugs. Like there's, a, there's some a little bit here and there. Like nothing breaking really but yeah I do want my oh you little biscuit <laughs> oh, yeah, I do want my lore to get back to normal but we will see up 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 ow right ow I saw something pink what is that oh what is this why is it pink here I picked up something pink oh it was just raw chicken <laughs> raw bird meat uh, right I mean, I must confess, uh, confess, it looked like a pair of panties. Who knows? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, they have teased in the next update, I think, with uh, that weird pillar that is uh, our floating island over yonder. Now, hopefully they add some more weapons. I mean, they did add daggers, which was a very nice uh, thing for them to add, but I do want a great sword, just because I do like great swords. And they don't necessarily have to change the animations, because I think this would work with uh, a great sword. Actually, I'm very certain it would. Yeah, yes it would. Now they would need to change a little bit of the, you know, animations that you can't uh, <laughs> hold the blade like you do with an axe, but uh, I think, uh, hopefully, hopefully they add something like that. And something that I do want, I did uh, do the survey that they posted on the Discord. Uh, they wanted to determine some question, uh, question answered about like the mage and uh, uh, the ranger. But I did uh, mention that mage is a very fun class to play, but I do want more spells. Preferably eternal ones. Like I want eternal, like the bone chargers, and I also want eternal lightning damage. That could definitely be something. And I kind of want more ways to use magic. I mean, right now you, we have the scrolls already, but yeah, I think they need to do something with like the scrolls, the spells. It would be fun with like eternal scrolls that were a little bit faster than a staff, maybe. Hmm. But again, we will see. Uh, that's a lot of tigers. Hang on. Where was I? 
Yeah, hang on a minute. Wasn't I? I was over... Where? Hang on. I'm just uh, throwing and trying to think. Wasn't I down? I was down here. Okay, I need to have a look-see because there was something buried over there. I mean, it's a little bit of a cheat to go with my main character, but... Uh, we'll see. Most likely it is uh, just a fossil, but I do want to make sure. Oh, and hopefully they add something with the flying. Oh, I mean, I love the flying in this game, but I want a little bit... Well, either they need to add some gravity where I can go down and then up. Maybe do a loop-de-loop. -loop. A little bit extra. Per perhaps, just perhaps. And I do want something that... Uh, Let's me gain more altitude so that I can continue to... Oh, hang on, this is loud. Uh, excuse me. I'm a schmack. I'm a schmack. What? I missed? You were biscuits. Okay, and then we take your hand. Come on, then. What? Why am I missing? There we go. Okay, okay. Now, leave me alone. What is over here? Here we have... Yeah, okay, elevated sea urchin. Hmm. Well, not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, they don't have to add infinite flying. But, oh boy, do I want something that makes it, you know, easier to gain altitude. But I think that they're gonna keep that a little bit away from us. Hang on, let's get up to the high point. Now, the reason why I think that won't add anything like that yet is most likely because, well, there is a floating island over there. And if we had infinite flight, I could fly from here to over there kind of easily. Uh, but I guess we will see. I mean, yeah, most likely they're gonna add that area, but how big is it gonna be? Because there's also more to the Blackmire. Like, there's a bridge that is encapsulated in Red Shroud. Now, I do wonder, I mean, they have also stated that King Games, they do use procedural generation for their world. I mean, you can kind of see it from place to place, but it's done in the old-fashioned way. So, who knows? I mean, a lot of stuff could change. Because the mountain biome is, well, it's it's not complete on this map, it's, it's not, but there's, uh, and there's, uh, oh, it's gonna be interesting, very much so. And I do wonder what they plan to do with the existing area, but yeah, I just want more, more levels, more skill points, and also um, from perhaps a few more skills, but I kind of want to be able to make more hybrid builds. Then again, they need to make it somewhat balanced, to some degree. I mean, I do want the end game of this game to be, you have every skill point. You can do whatever. You do just as much damage as you do with the melee as you do with magic and ranged and everything. So then you would have, you know, uh, melee, probably a staff and a bow, daggers, anything. And you would do <laughs> all the damage. Not yet, of course, but someday, someday indeed. And they have added the option to, you, you know, uh, make more enemies spawn, but I do want a little bit more random encounters. That would definitely be something. Like you go down in the shroud and all of a sudden there's a big boss over there that wasn't there before. Because now you will, well, unless you play it for the first time, you won't really get too surprised when you're in, like, the shroud or when you go down to this volcano, per se. I mean, you might find something new, since there's so much in this game. Ah, but we will see, we will see, we will see. And if you can't tell, yeah, I am. Oh, I am exhausted today too. Been a lot of lifting and a lot of, uh, a lot of cleaning. I mean, they also have to add something about these things, which I think has something to do with the structure that we can see on the floating island. Because in here, there is nothing yet, at least. And I'm not really sure why you were able to climb up here. Uh, who knows? Ah, oh, but yeah, there's so much they can add. Ah, oh, infinite possibilities. Now, they have been very fast with updates already, so I'm not gonna uh, even attempt to set a date for this, or even try to think of one, or speculate about the date. I mean, we will see. It looks like they're working hard. Very hard. I mean, the lat and latest update was just amazing within, uh, within itself, even though it didn't really add much you know, content, it added quests which made it, you know, you should explore more, which is fantastic. Uh, but also the difficulty sliders, I mean, that's a game changer. Now, I must add that I prefer uh, games where there isn't really any difficulty sliders, like Dark Souls games, but again, this game can become a lot easier if you just, you know, get the best uh, weapons and armor and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, being able to add more enemies to make it more difficult, that's... Oh, that's amazing. 
Okay. Are we in a place interesting now? Now we're in Revelwood. And there's a little bit of a bat cave. Let's explore the bat cave. I see something down here. Hello. Oh, that's just clay. Oh, I, oh, what a bit of. No, run away from the bats. There's something eerie about Revelwood. Can't really put my finger on it. I mean, it's not really a forest where I would want to build a base, even though it's very, like, fairy tale y. Right, okay, let's do some digging. Oh, there's a golden chest right about here. There it is. And here we have a shepherd's staff. No, I have one of those. Ooh, let's see. Where's the boss? And yeah, there's a boss, but there's also a golden chest up here. No particular reason why I'm searching this area, but yeah, it's just fun to run around and explore and all that. Oh, well, let's see. Baroness daggers. Do I have these? I think I have them, but well, I just will keep them. In case I don't. I mean, to be fair, I have already... Oh, there's something on my screen. Is that a bug? No. What is that? It's on my actual monitor. Uh, it won't come off. Eesh. Well, I do have screen... Uh, screen clear... Clearing? Cleaning material. Hang on, what's this then? Okay. There's a way to get up here. A reason for that? Anything underneath here? Hello? Excalibur? No Excalibur. Right. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I was saying that I've already made a video where I listed everything that I wanted from the game, and I think that was uh, not too long ago. When was that? Yeah, that was when the roadmap was released. Uh, I, I remember. I mean, they've already crossed off so much stuff to oh, the roadmap. I mean, they did say that everything was going to be added this year, I think, and then for later updates they were going to do some more uh, dungeon type stuff. That could be interesting. I mean, me and the wife has just gotten to, um, I do believe it's, uh, on Ant Highlands, if I remember correctly. Oh, big brain time. What's here? Anything. What? Okay. Oh, a little bit of a pathway. Yeesh. Oh, I haven't read too much into the Discord about what, I mean, you can vote on stuff that you want to get added into the game, but I haven't seen much. I mean, there's a lot of, uh, ah. <sighs> queries about water and yeah i would like to be able to swim maybe create some vehicles like a boat ah, and mounts could be something perhaps just perhaps i mean you are able to get a lot of places fast but yeah being able to tame like a bird and then fly around for infinitely that would definitely be something let's see there is a chest over yonder Oh, okay, don't die. There we go. Uh, let's see. Rusty sword. Do I have one of those? I don't think I do. And this way. Yeah, and there's also this whole bridge. I mean, this bridge. I mean, it even has a name, doesn't it? Ancient bridge. Hmm. Yeah, but there's no way to get through it. And this leads to... I mean, it could lead to the mountain. But I do wonder, will they add another area before the mountain? Or will we be able to just get... Um, like, right into the mountain. Who, who knows? Okay. Uh, wolves. What? No, pigs attacking mushroom. <laughs> Alright, we have this building. There's a little bit of lore over there. Nothing over here, perhaps. No, I think I was a little bit quick about exploring the Black Mire, so there's probably more there. I mean, there's also more temples. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's one thing. There's more temples in the Black Mire and the Kindle Waste. I only discovered one temple. Huh, I just will have a little bit of a look around. While I think about stuff that I want to be implemented in the game, like obviously I also want some more bosses, because the, la the latest boss that we got was uh, the Hollow Holes Cyclops. Now, I do want more bosses like that, but again, I want some, hmm, maybe a little bit more intriguing, interesting bosses. You can see, like, the Felvivern is definitely something. More stuff like that, please. Right. Also looking for something? Yeah, I mean, temples. Uh, again, it's not uh, too bad if we don't discover anything, but... Uh, just gonna have a look, see around, then. Now, one temple that I did discover that was... What, close to the dr Draconian Vulture Nest? Huh. I mean, there's probably more around. Probably up here, too. But, hang on, isn't this area... Ah, okay, well, let's have a look-see. Not sure how hidden they are, but... Huh? Will they? Is this something? Oh, that's the caravan camp. Run and the fly. Oh, yeah. One thing that I do want that would be very interesting is a way to util utilize the grappling hook. 
in any terrain, rather than to have an actual anchor point. Ooh, that would be fun. I'm talking about the swinging mechanic, obviously. Like, if I wanted to swing, I could just jump here, point to something, and then just use the grappling hook. Kinda like that, but, you know, a little bit different, I think. Hang on, and then it's up here. Hello, uh, I want to go up there, please. There we go. Anything? Uh, say what now? Hello? What is this? Anything? Hmm. Would be weird if there was something here. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, just terrain. Yeah, being able to use the grappling hook anywhere, that would be something. The swinging one, of course, not the one where you get dragged to a point. Oh, uh, let's see. Is that something? It's a little bit foggy and dusty around, but, huh? Let's see, anything over yonder? Nope, nope, nope. Um, let's see, yeah, I've been down there. I'm very sure that I have. See, anything down here? Where are we going now, I wonder? Eh, out of my way. See a bird. Oh, that's the cat. Yeah, my wife is dealing with the cat. Hmm, if I was a temple, where would I be under? I laid out that they added one in the shroud, but again, you never know. Hang on, is this something? I think it's a cave passage. Maybe. Well, let's roam around down here a little. And oh boy, do I want more flying courses. <laughs> Ooh, that was fun. A little bit uh, disappointed that they nerfed it a little. I mean, they removed all of the obstacles, which I don't think was a too good of a decision. I mean, I get it. People were struggling with it, but hmm. Yeah, I don't really believe that just because it's hard means that you need to remove it. They could have rather have added a path for the people who, well, didn't want uh, want the challenge. Now I get adding, whoop, hang on, stuff is coming, stuff is coming. Then again, I don't really want them to uh, hide any uh, content behind a skill check, basically. Let's see, where are we now? Oh, we're over here. Hmm. Huh. Now, I do wonder if it have added something. No, hang on. This just goes around. Yeah, right. Are we close to anything? No, who knows? Oh, if I had the infinite flying right now, I couldn't get on top of that thing without any issues whatsoever. Then again, I could also just climb. Now, why is there such a bright light up there? That's very suspicious. Let's investigate. Most likely just the sun. Yeah, I think that's just the sun. Okay, fly like so. What am I doing? There we go. Okay, jump, jump, and jump, 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 and jump. Okay, yeah, it was just the sun. Let's see, what is this? Is this brittle brush? Brittle brush? East lapis, I mean. Ugh. Yeah, it's been some time since I uh, explored. Okay, let's get this thing and then just run past everything. Okay, careful about the exploding beetles. Oh, I just hold grab one of these. Hello? Hang on. Rare? Rare, you say? Hang on a minute. Rare? That's the first time I've seen it in rare. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on just a second. I think I might have discovered something. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Actually, let's head, whoop. Yeah, let's head right home. Looks see. Oh, the Dreadbane in rare. Ah, you don't say. Now, does that mean it exists in legendary? Maybe. Let's see. Where's my hammers? Hammer? No, I don't. Well, I might as well put one of the daggers in here. Do I have that? Yeah, okay, I had that from before. Let's see. Dreadbane. Huh. 94, 94. Is that the base damage? But now it's... Hmm. Okay. I need to do some testing. Okay, Balthazar. This is now 104 damage. Compared to this, that is 82. Huh. So technically, this is 164 blunt damage. And my other ignited hammer gives... Okay, where did I put my ignited hammer? It should be right over here. Where's my ignited hammer? Oh, hang on. Yeah, I put that over... Where is it now? Oh, right in front of me. Uh, let's see. Well, the ignited hammer has... Let's see. That's 82 plus 16 times 5. That's 80. So 162. And this has 164. So two more damage. Huh. Interesting, but, well, I've also disabled the uh, durability, uh, but now I have it in rare. I mean, yeah, technically it is the most damaging weapon, just blunt. Hang on a minute, wasn't the Hollow Holes set 
what about this? Now this is ginger, um, purely cosmetic. But yeah, the hollow hole sack. Didn't that also increase my blunt damage? Huh. Actually, I think I need to make another melee build. And I mean, there's also blunt arrows and blunt magic for some reason. But yeah, I think that I just discovered the strongest weapon in the game, technically. I do wonder. I don't think I've ever seen it in rare. I'm very certain that I haven't. I mean, I haven't farmed it, so who knows? But does that mean it? you can find it in legendary? I mean, I have two more altars that I could use, so I could technically just put one right over there and then continuously loot. Um, I'll probably just dig underneath it. Well, 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 would you look at that? Well, I think I need to do some more testing around. But yeah, that's, uh, that's a high damaging weapon. Very much so. <laughs> I mean, if I look at my axe, what I have right now, I mean, cutting damage, yeah, I mean, this is, isn't a lot. But again, it also increased critical hit damage by 20%, so uh, there's a couple of weapons like that. But in just raw damage, yeah, I think it's, uh, oh, it's something. Dreadbane. Hmm. Yeah, because the uh, ignited hammer, I mean, it's two less damage, but uh, I think it's identical otherwise. How did it look? Come on. Oop. I mean, yeah, it looks like, uh, it looks like, uh, it looks like the hammer. I mean, actually, it does go quite well with my outfit. <laughs> it is a little bit too out there, but it's definitely something. Right, well, I think that I'm, uh, I'm gonna continue to relax a bit. There's another day tomorrow, and a little bit more stuff that needs to be done. <laughs> uh, but anyhow, I think that I'm gonna say, as always, until next time.